Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room today. We are going to make this absolutely gorgeous card with the Lots of Lavender stamp set. This is a celebration item. You can receive this for free with a $50 order in Stampin' Up! product because our celebration uh, catalog goes until the end of March, March 31st. Our occasions catalog goes until May 31st. So, but if you would like to receive free items, through March 31st. Now's the time to order. And this is one of them. I've had a great time making this card this morning. And look at the inside. Isn't that beautiful? I used the entire stamp set, guys. The entire stamp set. I used every single stamp. We're going to do it together in just a few minutes. The thanks I got from the Charming Cafe. Okay, right there. I love this thanks. Look at how... Um, light it looks. It's just so flowy. I love it and I think it pairs beautifully with the lavender. So I use the embossing folder that you can get in our occasions catalog. There's a pair of them and in the card kits this month, remember if you order $25 in product from me, you will receive these two free card kits. No stamped images but you get all of the supplies to make these cards. Even the pearls and the bow. I make the bow for you. Check the link out um, right here in the bottom. It'll say free card kits and it'll take you right to the video. So we've got that going on. But let me give you the dimensions of this card and I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I love this embossing folder right here, but I wanted to see what that would look like using our stripes embossing folder. So this is the card that we're going to make together. <clears throat> I start with a card base of crumb cake at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. It will open portrait style like this. The inside piece right here is four and three quarter by three and a half, and we'll do a little stamping down here in the corner with that. Our first layer is basic black that goes on the outside of this card base right here at five and a quarter by four. Then our embossed piece is five by three and three quarters. What I also wanted to show you with this card with the layering, okay, is that everything is cut down by a quarter of an inch. Then it gives you an eighth of an inch border around everything, and it really frames out the card nicely, I think. So I wanted to show you guys that. <clears throat> now, the two pieces here, our basic black is at two and a half by four and a quarter, and our white piece, Whisper White, <coughs> excuse me, is at two and a quarter by four. I'll be back in a minute. I'll have all of our stamps mounted, and we're going to get going with this project. I wanted to go ahead and show you how to stamp the lavender right here, okay? Um, I like to use a positioning device. I have my Stamparatus on order. I don't have it yet. It should come uh, sometime in March. I'm excited about it, but I do have a Misty, and it's a fantastic tool. So here's how we do this. You take your image, and this is the side that you would stamp on, okay? And see how how intricate all of this is and you want it to be crisp because you might want a watercolor. You might want to use blendabilities uh, or um, stamp and blends. I still call them blendabilities, guys. Isn't that funny? Um, so, you know, you want things to be crisp. So that's why I like to use a, a stamping positioning device. I'm going to take my lavender and turn it upside down so I have the flat side toward me. I'm going to position it on my piece of paper that I have here. It's Whisper White. Um, just right here. And I'm putting it at an angle so that I can put my thanks in down here. I'm going to use Memento ink, but I bring my cover around and I'm going to pick this up so that it is in this um, perfect position every time. Okay? Just like that. Alright? Make sure that my paper stays to the side there. I don't want to put too many magnets, you know, because um, I don't want it in the way when I bring my stamp over, okay? So I think two will be fine. So let me bring this this way and show you. I take my ink and I'm going to stamp and bring it right here, okay, and get it on my image, whatever image you have. Then you close it. Then I press and I kind of want to press in the middle right there, okay? and bring it up. Now I got a great image. Do you see that? I got a fantastic image, but it's it's black, but it's like a gray black to me, okay? I don't know if you can see that. 
So I am going to stamp uh, to ink this stamp up one more time. And this is what's great about the positioning device. I don't have to worry how to line anything up. <clears throat> it's already lined up. I bring this in, put it over, and again, just let that ink get into that paper. Lift it up, and that is a much bolder, crisper image. You can see that right there. Let that camera focus in on that. Love that. Okay. So I'll move my magnets. These are extremely strong magnets. Keep them away from each other. They will grab together, and then um, you'll have trouble getting them apart. So while I have this tool right here, I'm going to go ahead and put my paper for my inside in here. And I'll use more magnets with this, just like that. Okay? You didn't see that. Okay. So I put my my inside uh, piece that's four and three quarter by three and a half in here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here. Okay. Get my ink out of the way. And um, let's see. I'll get my flowers right here. I'm going to put the part that I want to stamp down on the paper first, putting the flat side toward me so that the back will pick it up, just like that. We're in perfect position. Bring this over. So simple. So simple. Ink it up. Press. We've got a nice image, but it could be just a little bolder. Do you see that? just a little bit. Bring your ink around again. Ink it up. Close it. Press it. And I like that. Look at how bold that is. Look at how crisp. I love that. You can do anything then in that because this is memento. You know, you could use your watercolor pencils. So, but we are going to stamp. This is, uh, we are going to stamp and use this entire stamp set. I'll be back in a minute and we'll start to use some color. Okay, what I've done is I've mounted all my stamps. The only two stamps that are in here are the ones I've already used, the lavender and then this flower um, little piece, okay? So, again, I've used every single stamp in this set which makes me love the set because I really feel like I say I get what I pay for so because I can use every single one so um, it just thrills me when that happens I'm gonna put some scrap paper over here because we are gonna stamp off let's start with our little flower here and we're gonna start with some rich razzleberry now like I say I like to mount all of my stamps everything is already mounted every single piece okay is mounted on a bunch of blocks but it's okay if you have to change them and you know uh, you only have a couple just enjoy it just enjoy yourself now with our little flower we have this little round part right here and this is a two-step stamping um, stamp set and we'll use a two-step stamping technique now this uh, flower right here I just want to soften it a little bit so I stamp it off and then I take the second generation of the ink and I'm going to place it over this flower the best I can and press okay just like that now what I'm gonna do now is get my little leaves right here these two right uh, that's the bow right here these two leaves right here and my old olive and I'm gonna go ahead and ink these up and this is full strength I'm not gonna stamp these off so then you want to line these up with the configuration of leaves that they line up with so that the green goes inside your um, stamped image right there just like that oh that's beautiful look at that rich razzleberry with that old olive I love that combination of the purple and the green okay so let me put my stamps over here that I use some more old olive right here and then this just comes up on this one just take a second to line it up and stamp perfect now 
you get these two little dots and that's for these berries right here and they are perfectly positioned. I'm going to use my which Razzleberry, we'll leave that open right here because we're going to use that again in just a moment. And I'm going to use this full strength this time for the berries. Line it up. Stamp. Love it. So that it gives a little contrast between that flower and these berries is why that I use this full strength. Okay? So there's the inside of our card. And here's our lilac. Or lilac. Uh, lavender. It's a lavender. Keep calling it lilac. Okay, we're going to use our little image right here. This is the inside of that, and we're going to go into our Rich Razzleberry and really ink this up. Okay, stamp off because we want the second generation of it. Now, this stamp is made to be blotchy, almost like a watercolory, washy kind of look. So, I'm going to pull this down just to get it above that bow a little bit. Line it up, and it's supposed to not be perfect, okay? which is why I like it, because I don't have to be perfect with it. Just like that, which is beautiful, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's use our old olive again, and these larger leaves, like this, and it's full strength, and there's uh, four leaves on this side, so this one goes here, and again, just line it up. I love to stamp, guys. I This is like my fave, absolute fave. There's two over here. I love, love, love to stamp because did that not just make that pop? That just made that rich razzleberry just pop right out to you because of adding a color. The bow, I'm going to do that in crumb cake. Let me just open that up right quick and get my bow done. Right there. Put that over there. beautiful. And then my little tails here in green. My old olive. Just right here, full strength. Just like that. Isn't that fa Didn't that image come beautiful? It just made everything just say, wow. Okay? Now, we're going to get our thanks from our Charming Cafe here. Like I said, one of my absolutely favorites. Um because it's so soft looking. Now this is red rubber, so you really don't need this foam mat, but it's okay. I'm just going to keep it there because I have it there. It won't hurt anything. So I'm going to ink that up in my Memento Black ink, and I'm going to come right here and stamp. And that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look at how pretty that came. Okay, I'm going to clean all this up. I'll be back. We'll put our card together. Okay, let's start to assemble this beautiful card. I'm just so happy with this, and I'm so happy with the layers. So the inside piece, we're just going to snail down. Most everything will be snailed. And I think we're going to use some dimensionals, but on the outside. So this goes inside, and it just really makes your card to have a stamped image in there. Really, really makes it very pretty. Okay, on the outside, we put our... <clears throat> a layer of basic black. Just like this. And like I said, all of these layers are a quarter of an inch less, which gives us an eighth of an inch border around each time you put a layer. And I think it really, really frames your card out nicely. I also like to use black underneath because that really makes the image that you put on top of it, it really makes it pop out. Now this is um, embossed with our stripes embossing folder. And you could use it either way, debossed or embossed. I'm going to use the raised side up. So with this, because there is so many grooves, I want to use Tombow. And when you put something through the big shot it, with the embossing folder, you kind of get a little rippling. And when you use the liquid glue, it kind of holds it down a little bit better, I feel, than the snail. And just get those corners nice so those corners will sit down. Okay. So the other one, we used a different embossing folder, and I just wanted to try 
this one like this just to see which effect I liked. I might like them both and it might not matter. <laughs> so I just press this down and let that Tombow really get in there. I'm not pressing hard not to you know press the little embossed places down but just kind of rubbing it down and look how nice and flat that is now because of the Tombow. Now we're going to bring in our basic black piece and our piece that we did all of our stamping on. I just love that. So elegant. And look at that on black. It just really makes the whole card pop, if you ask me. <coughs> A little bit more here. And bring that layering piece in and keep our border nice just like that. Now for this I am going to add um, dimensionals and just five of them. I will put one in the middle because of the size. Thanks again for watching my videos. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com where you can click on the big blue button and order any and all of your Stampin' Up! supplies and get free card kits and free stuff from Stampin' Up! until the end of March. Let's go ahead and attach this right here in the middle. I love both these cards. Wow. Okay, let's see. What have we got going here? Lots of lavender. With a $50 order, you can get this beautiful set. You can pick it out of the Celebration Catalog. Look at both these cards today, guys. I love them both. I really do. Hmm. I really like the way they both came out. I love the stripes behind here, and I love the contrast on, from side to side on that one. Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting. I'm so happy with these cards. Happy crafting, everyone.